position to be in. It's going to get very terse in that building. Mahomes down the field. Yes! And he's up and in. Bouncing off the ground for the touchdown. Tyreek Hill. Allen faking the handoff. He's going to swing it again towards the end zone. Wide open is Brown. Touchdown. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Protest Sports. Protest Sports and Protest Sports Network. Back with another video for you guys today. Um, back with another video for y'all. Uh, Father, yet to all glory to God, thank you, Jesus Christ, for another day. Let me spread love and positivity to this world. Let me um, serve your purpose, which is to create disciples. i um, become a disciple myself. Also, Lord, I'm going to ask you to allow us to chase our dreams and aspirations by doing this discipleship and um, continue to help others chase their dreams as well. Um, it laws it for the reason that it's positive. Amen. I pray. Amen. Let's get in there. Let's go. So today's video, man, I will be talking about a very, very, very um, interesting uh, thing that happened uh, over the weekend. It happened on Friday. Um, Washington football team did make some uh, cuts right before the NFL draft. Um, they cut five guys. They uh, released Thaddeus Moss, tight end. Um, defensive tackle uh, Caleb Brantley. Running back Javon Leak, I believe. Javon Leak, Thaddeus Moss, Caleb Brantley, um, uh, Emmanuel Hall, Emmanuel Hall, and I forget the other person, to be honest with you, um, Michael Warren, yeah, Michael Warren, um, not surprised on any of these cuts, um, I do want to talk about Thaddeus Moss specifically, um, in this video, and we'll get to all that, so let's start with Caleb Brantley, uh, being released, uh, former defensive tackle with the Washington football team. Uh, last time he was actually active was in 2019 when we were still the Washington Redskins at the time. Um, solid guy. Um, but his defensive, his defensive line group is so deep. Uh, Caleb Brandon was expendable. So I'm surprised he got cut. Um, as for uh, Emmanuel Hall, tall, fast guy, just can't stay healthy in. I mean, I know a lot of people like Emmanuel Hall. Uh, shout out to Rico, Street Scores. Street Scores like, um, likes him a lot. Um, but they made the team last year due to injury, and our wide receiver group has been kind of revamped over the offseason. So no surprise him getting cut. Uh, my only surprise was Thaddeus Moss. Um, it's not really a big surprise to me, um, but it's will be a two-part video about Thaddeus Moss. Like, that's probably the biggest sort of shocker. It wasn't a big shocker at all, for real, for real, but that might be the one about, oh, we don't have a lot of tight on this roster. Why are we cutting? I think we have, I think we have Tariq Hemingway, and I think we still have Marcus Ball on the roster. But we don't have a tight end to it all, so we'll see. Um, and who else? Uh, Michael Warren, I didn't know too much about him, so no surprises there. Um... Let's get to Darius Moss. So I really want to talk about Darius Moss very, very, very deeply in this video. Um, and I want to talk about is Darius Moss NFL career over with? Like before he even started. Um, I say that for a couple reasons. One, he's not played an NFL game yet. Um, two, he got this is the second time getting cut. Uh, they brought him back the first time. Um, put him back on IR and brought him back the first time. This time they actually got cut, cut. So he's no longer on the team, period. Um, and third of all, like I said, since he's been cut twice, he hasn't played an NFL game. He's not super athletic either. Like, um, he has great hands, but he's not athletic. Like, he's, his speed doesn't wow you. Um, his, uh, his cuts when he runs routes doesn't, doesn't wow you. Nothing really wows you about Thaddeus Moss besides his hands. That's the only thing that wows you. That's it. So, in my opinion, um, with the lack of athleticism, the injury not really healing the way it needs to heal. Um, and on top of that, uh, he's not super athletic to begin with. I, I, I don't think he's an NFL tight end. Um, sorry for you today as most fans. I don't think the Washington football team will bring this gentleman back on the roster. I think his NFL days were over before they began. Um, I do wish that most the best, like I stated. Um, I think in previous videos, like way back when he first got on the team, I wish him the best, but um, I just think that uh, that some that that Moss is not NFL tight. Sorry, my, I never really put him into the into the equation because I never think he will make this team anyway. Uh, as, as for Javon Leak and Michael Warren, we have 
bring back that. But I don't think we need those guys on the practice squad on the roster. They might bring one of them back, like a Javon League on the practice squad, maybe. But Michael Warren, whatever. I don't really care. Um, Caleb Brandy's no big surprise. I do think Caleb Brandy will get picked up by somebody though. I do think someone's going to pick up Caleb Brantley, and they're going to be they're going to be um, enamored with him. Uh, he's a nice defensive line piece as a depth guy. He's not a starter in this league, but he's a guy that come off the bench and give some quality snaps. Uh, so I think he'll be a guy that um, a team would like to pick up. Um, well, not no time soon. He'll be on the market for a while. But let's just say someone got it. I mean, it's like the Vikings might pick him up um, just for depth. Um, a team like the Jaguars can pick him up for depth as well. Need some defensive tackles. Um, even, even a division rival, Cowboys. Cowboys did sign Jeremy Sprinkle as well. So, I mean, they might be looking to pick up another former Washington football team player. Never know. Um, that's going to do it for me, man. Uh, I ain't going to keep you guys in here too much longer. Uh, I just want to talk about the whole dad mall situation and the rest of the guys getting cut. And you guys my super quick opinion on it. Um, nothing crazy. Um, also, please. Uh, before I end the video, please post to the moderator stream on Thursday with all the Washington football team moderators at all the Protest Sports Network. Um, should be a really dope stream. Uh, please be there Thursday at 8 o'clock p.m. Um, for all the moderators, I'll be sending you guys a stream yard link today. Today is Sunday. Um, so I'll be sending you guys a stream yard link this evening. And I hope you guys do pull up. It's going to be some dope vibes. Um, really good vibes on the channel. And we're going to really get it popping. We're going to get it popping. No cap. So. I uh, hope you guys enjoy, man. Like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are new, turn post notifications. Don't catch the protest sports video at the protest sports network. But God first, man. Stay safe with this COVID nineteen, man. Always remember, the most athletic Italian sport choice. As long as you professional on the field, tech, you sound fun. You sound going like a town athletic and power education, man. Professional, like always have a great one, guys. I love you guys, man. Um, and stay safe on the streets, man. And uh, comment your thoughts. Let me know what you about this video. And I'm out, bro. I, I, I don't I don't do the whole I'm saying this style no more because you know I'm trying to get closer to God and I heard those are devil horns I mean so no more no no more this sign for me just just take these guys lay off count your thoughts I'm out of here bro peace.